In this assignment, we are going to make a recreation of the Efebo chair, which was manufactured by Arte Mita in the 1960s. You can find several solutions for building this on the web, but none of them are totally accurate, which is also the case of this solution I'm going to be showing you. This is largely due to the fact that it's difficult to tell from photographs exactly what is happening in the curvature of some of these surfaces without having the real article in front of us. Getting the back and sides correct and the leg cutouts is not so difficult, but where we see a lot of differences between different solutions has to do with the shape of the seat, the front roll, and the shape of the front. My model mainly differs from the real article along this edge here and the shape of the front in this zone here. You can see that this edge starts out as a tight radius and then becomes a very large radius on the front of the legs. And we also see that there's an odd blend that's sort of occurring this area where there's almost, but not quite, a crease that we can see due to this shadow. Going back to my model, I've made a consistent radius going all along the edge. I have the same sort of roll on the front. But in this area, I've just made a simple concave surface and don't have this large radius which transitions from a convex to a concave, which causes that odd blend in this area. This model is constructed by sweeping a curve from the back around to the sides, trimming the side shape away, building a boundary surface, another boundary surface, and a fill surface, mirroring the two sides, solidifying it, shelling it, and then cutting out the openings that form the legs. Each of these steps will be covered in detail. The model begins with a side view JPEG on the right plane and a front view JPEG on the front plane. These have been scaled to match the actual dimensions of the actual chair. These JPEGs guide a side layout sketch a sketch which controls the layout of the seat pan and finally a front layout sketch. I will hide the JPEGs and make the layouts visible and I'll show that we have a few additional layouts based on these here. Added to this is a bottom perimeter layout which is constructed without the uh, having a JPEG because there was none available to me. But from some photographs, I was able to get a fairly good idea of the shape. You see here from a top view that the perimeter is made up of one, two, three arcs. And then this arc represents the concave shape of the front of the chair. You'll also notice I have various construction lines which tie the key points of these arcs to the corresponding points in both the side layout and the front layout. For example, this point represents the very front of the chair, which has relation to the very front in the side view sketch. In addition to this, there's a separate sketch representing the rear leg cutout and a sketch representing the front leg cutout. And these were put into their own sketches to avoid cluttering up the main layout sketches.